Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. In about two hours, the Three Lakes High School girls basketball team will take the floor in the Division 5 state championship game. The Blue Jays already sent shock waves through Wisconsin sports landscape by knocking off perennial powerhouse, uh, a perennial power in the semis this morning. Newswatch 12's Nate Myhock joins us now live from lacrosse with the latest. Nate. Yeah, what a matchup it was. Three Lakes played a near perfect game against Blackhawk, and the recent history for both of these schools have been almost polar opposites. Three Lakes hadn't been to state since 1999. On the other hand, Blackhawk hadn't lost a game in almost three full years, but the Blue Jays had a chance to end that run this morning. Three Lakes and Blackhawk in the Division 5 semifinals, and the Blue Jays were firing early. Kick out to Sydney Lurvey, she buries the three, and Three Lakes had an early lead. They kept the pressure on, Taylor calling down low, gets the and one bucket, and the Blue Jay faithful was feeling it. Three Lakes just wanted this game more, a loose ball out to Sydney Lurvey at the top of the key, that shot rattles home. But you don't win 75 in a row off of pure luck. The Miss Basketball favorite, Bailey Butler, taking this ball coast to coast, and then gets the tough bucket down low. Moments later, Butler pulls up from the parking lot. She led the Warriors in scoring, but Three Lakes kept her quiet like they had planned. And the game plan was just, we have, we have a very physical, strong girl in Emily Fink, and I thought she did a fantastic job of staying with Bailey, and I think we wore her down. Blackhawk led by one at half, but in the second frame, this game turned into the Sydney Lurvey show, works her way open, and splashes the three, very next trip down the floor. It's a heat check. Lurvy hand in her face. It doesn't matter. She extends the Blue Jay lead to five. I watched it up there. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think that one was going in. <laughs> I felt good about my other ones, but that one, I felt like it was really far out. And, and when that went in, I was like, holy man, that was a big shot. We got this. The Warriors would keep it close, but the dagger came with less than a minute to go. Sarah Grzynski gets the circus shot to fall, the and one opportunity, and start the celebration. Three Lakes snaps Blackhawks winning streak with a 51 to 48 win. They'll now get ready for a chance at a gold ball. Three Lakes will now play for their first ever state title against Assumption. Tip off for that game set at 7.05. We'll have a recap later on. Send it back to you, though, Justin. All right, outside, Jeff, some warmer weather on the way. Yeah, this thing is 91.5 million miles away today. It provided a little bit of heat, but tomorrow we are going to go for 40 in some areas over the weekend as well. Out there right now, though, we're at 33 in Rhinelander, 31 for Anago, 37 for Point. So it's comfortable and above average right now. However, we're going to add to that tomorrow with high temperatures, upper 30s, and we're going to go for low 40s on Saturday. All right, lots of clear skies out there. Just a beautiful day, wasn't it? Just a gorgeous day. Uh, the clear skies tonight as well, followed by this system right there. That will be in our backyards on Friday night into Saturday morning, likely giving us a little bit of light snow. We're talking less than an inch of snow tomorrow night with another system getting in here on Sunday. Your forecast then for tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies and mostly clear skies. Not as cold with low temperatures down near 14. Your full forecast is coming up. Thanks, Jeff. Fire crews from across the Northwood spent much of this afternoon battling a fire on Highway 70 in Lac de Flambeau. Newswatch 12's Georgina Fernandez is there. She joins us now live on the phone with the latest. Georgina. Hey, Justin. I'm at site Haskell Lake Lodge right now in Lac de Flambeau. We are, sorry, we're fire department respond to a fire today around 3 o'clock. Lock of Emerald received their call around 2.57, along with four other fire stations who came by here. So if you would drive by right now, you would have not known that there was a fire. All fire trucks have pulled off now. And the building on the ice outside looks fairly well, no damages. But the damages they did receive was inside their office area. And that primarily was with a lot of smoke damage. And officials say they do not have a source right now where that fire came from but they are thinking how to do something with the electronic unit of the building. And right now, that's all the information that they do have, but they say the building did not have any damages and everyone was okay who was located here. 
All right. Thanks, Georgina. Appreciate Michael that. Michael Longo, Georgina Fernandez, News Watch 12. All right. Thank you, Georgina. After about a month and a half of dropping numbers, we've now seen two straight days of the weekly average of new COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin inching back up. Today, the State Department of Health Services announced 840 new cases. That brings the rolling seven-day average up to 632. Today, DHS also announced 52 new deaths related to COVID-19, bringing the daily average for the last week back up to 23. Three. In our 12 county north central Wisconsin region, hospitalization numbers are actually still trending down. Right now, DHS reports 34 people in our region are in the hospital with COVID 19. They say 15 of those are in the ICU. Roughly 14.5% of all people in Wisconsin now received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, according to the latest numbers from the Department of Health Services. That includes nearly half of all people age 65 and up. Forest County now has the highest rate of vaccination in the Northwoods at 21.5%, getting at least one shot. Oneida County right behind at about 20.6%. Meanwhile, just a reminder, Wisconsin is expanding the list of people eligible for the vaccine starting March 1st. The newly eligible groups include in this priority order, education and child care staff, individuals enrolled in Medicaid long-term care programs, some public-facing essential workers, non-frontline health healthcare personnel and facility staff and residents in congregate living settings. However, state health officials say folks in these groups should not expect to get the vaccine right away. They are prioritizing people in the previously eligible groups. The makers of the two authorized COVID vaccines in the U.S. are now testing to see if getting a third kind of a booster shot would protect against the emerging variants of the virus. Both Pfizer and BioNTech say their study will include 144 people who have already received the vaccine's two doses in the phase one trial. They'd then get a booster shot between six and 12 months after their earlier doses. So we're talking winter to next year. The companies are also currently in talks with the FDA about testing a modified vaccine designed to protect specifically against the variant first identified in South Africa, which has proven the most complicated of the uh, variants so far. The pandemic has caused all sorts of stress for many people for many reasons. UW health experts now say many people who've contracted the virus have officially been diagnosed with anxiety and depression at much higher levels. Dr. Shyla Mergen says developing a tolerance for uncertainty is one of the hardest and most important things to do. The pandemic has taken a toll on our mental health. For people who have contracted the virus, many of them are starting to develop mental health conditions like depression or anxiety or cognitive issues. Experts say you should approach your emotions like information that your body is telling you. Being self-aware and accepting what has happened, they say, can be the first steps to managing those feelings. You process those emotions that come up doing some therapeutic journaling of just jotting down some of some of your thoughts can be helpful and um, grief over time if we allow it to move through us will shift it will shift into new energy coming up on news watch 12 at 6 we'll have more advice on how to manage your psychological well-being during the pandemic the latest weekly jobless claims numbers are better than economists forecasted. The Labor Department says first-time unemployment claims dropped to 730,000 last week, far less than the 845,000 analysts expected. Continuing claims, the number of people filing for unemployment two weeks in a row or more, also dropped slightly to 4.4 million nationwide. Now, while those headlines may seem optimistic, most economists say the labor market is still under a lot of pressure because the pandemic and the number of people filing for pandemic related aid programs continues to rise. Here in Wisconsin, Governor Evers has announced a new $322 million federally funded program for Wisconsin residents who need help paying rent or utility bills because of income loss during the pandemic. Evers' office says eligible applicants must demonstrate a risk of either losing their housing, have lost income due to the pandemic, or have a household income at or below 80% of the county median average, rental and utility payments are then made directly to the landlord or utility provider. For more information, you can visit wisconsin.gov. 78 grams of heroin was confiscated this morning. One person arrested as part of a drug 
bust in the Everest area yesterday. According to the Everest Metro Police, working with the Central Wisconsin Narcotics Task Force and Marathon County Sheriff's Office, Corey D. Spencer of Milwaukee was arrested and booked into the Marathon County Jail for possession and intent to deliver heroin, which they say was also mixed with fentanyl. They say the drugs have an estimated street value of $24,000. Police say Spencer was accompanied by a 20-year-old woman and her two-year-old daughter who were safely returned to Milwaukee. Spencer is due in Marathon County Court tomorrow. Despite the recent cold and snow, the Portage County snowmobile trails are now closed for the season. Closed at noon today. Most other counties, uh, counties in north central Wisconsin are still open. You can contact the Portage County Parks Department with any questions. Final numbers are now in for Wisconsin's latest wolf hunting season. We'll hear what local wildlife experts and hunters are saying about them in just a few minutes. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast. You're watching News Watch. 12. We're proud to serve Elko and folks all across the north woods of Wisconsin. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get the ultimate style for the ultimate deal at Furniture and Appliance Mart's ultimate sale. See big on everything in the store. Doorbusters up to 50% off. Plus take bonus discounts off our sale prices online and in-store. And no interest financing for three years. Furniture and Appliance Mart. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. I grew up working in my family's supper clubs. This is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about families coming together. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome to the show. I am Ellen DeGeneres. You will be my virtual audience. Somebody cough. Every day, Hollywood's biggest stars and your favorite games. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> Ellen's season 18 is so big. That's not as big as I thought that would be. Ellen, weekdays at 3 p.m. Get the ultimate appliance deals at Furniture and Appliance Mart's ultimate sale. Seeds big on doorbusters, special buys, and clearance items from the best brands while they last. And special no-interest financing on appliances store-wide. The ultimate sale is on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. There you are. Welcome back, my friends. Well, spring is still 23 days away, but if you are done, and that's a lot of you, I know, the long-range temperature outlooks kind of have us above average in temperatures for really the first and second weeks of March. So that could firmly put us in the upper 30s to low 40s. Uh, that will be more comfortable, as you know, uh, but just not today. We had temperatures today that did not do that. Outside right now, though, lots of sunshine all day long today. We melted some snow, a little bit of snow today with high temperatures just above freezing. We're at 33 right now in Rhinelander with a west wind at 17. That's the real story today. The west wind had gusts near 30 miles per hour, making it feel like 22 in Rhinelander. Over in Wausau, 35 for you with a southwest breeze at 8, making it feel like 29. And the pressure is falling very slowly as there is a little system coming our way for tomorrow evening. Okay, around the horn, we're hanging out 31 in Anago, 39 for Opaca, also Wisconsin Rapids. Low 40s across central Wisconsin today. Uh, a lot of us may do that tomorrow and especially on Saturday as we have warmer air on the way for us. Uh, we're going to melt some more snow around here and here's that snowpack. This will take a hit tomorrow and Saturday and there's not much snow on the way to kind of replenish it. Although Sunday system, we could get a little bit of light snow in here on Sunday that could bring us some measurable snow. But right now on the ground right now in Green Bay is six inches, uh, 13 for Rhinelander, 12 in Madison. But again, we are melting this now quickly with air temperatures. Temperatures 
back up in the 30s and even going for low 40s on Saturday, but then right back down Sunday into Monday, followed by a warm next week. And uh, this is a very spring like pattern right now, up and down, up and down with temperatures near 40, then crashing as our front comes through with some precipitation. That's going to happen for us this weekend. Okay, looking outside right now in Plover, the sun sets at 540 these days. A beautiful scene here. Not a cloud in the sky in Plover, and that's pretty much across the entire Northwoods right now. Although the clouds will begin to increase tomorrow, uh, there is a system to the west of us right now. It's right over here. There it is right there. That's going to bring us a little bit, and I mean like a little bit, of light snow tomorrow night in the early parts of Saturday morning. Uh, and then another system on Sunday. That's the stronger of the two on Sunday, uh, which could bring us an inch or two of snowfall on Sunday afternoon. So here's the big systems. Again, the atmosphere is very charged up right now. Uh, for us, that means lots of wind energy, especially tomorrow and Saturday. We could see wind gusts near 30 miles per hour. Meanwhile, this, this is going to come through for us uh, tomorrow evening and bring us a little bit of light snow. And the one behind that for Sunday could bring us some light snow as well. But here's the wind forecast for tomorrow. We could see wind gusts again near 30 to 40 miles per hour tomorrow, uh, also on Saturday. So that's going to be the big story going forward into the weekend. The forecast then for tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies, lows down near 14 with a calm wind after midnight for tomorrow. All right, so partly cloudy, but it's going to be windy tomorrow. That west wind could gust near 35, making that 39 feel much colder through the afternoon. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows a nice day for us tomorrow. Look at Saturday, 42, partly cloudy, but windy. There's that chance for snow on Sunday. Not a lot, maybe an inch or two of snow on Sunday afternoon. And then temperatures climb next week back in the 30s, maybe some low 40s in there next week as well. Justin. Thanks, Jeff. Final numbers are now in from Wisconsin's first wolf hunt in almost seven years. And hunters exceeded the kill limit by quite a bit, despite the hunt ending several days early. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson has details. As a retired wildlife expert, Adrian Whiteven has been studying wolves for years, but even he didn't know what to expect. It was very unsure exactly what was going to happen because we're dealing with high level of uncertainty. The Wisconsin wolf hunt was set for a week but ended just two days after it started. Kills were adding up quickly. The final tally was 215 wolves, way more than the 119 limit. Wisconsin's last wolf hunt was in 2014, and Whiteven says there hasn't been a February wolf hunt since 1956. Having a hunt midwinter changes things. It means interrupting a wolf's breeding period. If you're removing pregnant females, that means you're removing this year's uh, litter of pups from that pack. Uh, if you're removing an adult male, it may make it harder for a pack to maintain its territory. But after a legal battle, the DNR had no choice but to hold the hunt per state law. It allocated 2,380 permits to hunters across the state. One of those tags belonged to Shane Chapman, a hunter from Marquette County, Wisconsin. It was a great time. Chapman hunted with a group who had nine tags. His group filled seven of them. And we all had a lot of action, a lot of running around, a lot of miles. Chapman's group harvested all their wolves in the first two days of the season, and he sees a number of benefits to this wolf hunt, including less depredations. They've been becoming a big problem down here by us. We've been buying a lot of carcasses. We've had a lot less deer population in the last recent years, and we've been seeing way more wolves. And I don't think that's just a coincidence. He sees it as the fewer wolves there are, the better chance deer have of surviving for deer season. Chapman plans on hunting for the next wolf season in November, while Whiteven is concerned for how many wolves will make it that long. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson. Well, for many people, there are a few better ways to start your day than with a delicious stack of pancakes. Today was a reason to celebrate that if you're into pancakes. We'll stop by one local eatery that specializes in the breakfast treat, and we'll hear from them after the break. Get the ultimate style for the ultimate deal at Furniture and Appliance Mart's Ultimate Sale. See big on everything in the store. Doorbusters up to 50% off. Plus, take bonus discounts off our sale prices online and in-store. And no interest financing for three years. Furniture and Appliance Mart. This is an exciting time for people in central Wisconsin who suffer from hip and knee joint pain. With this innovative technology, we're able to offer patients a total joint replacement that is positioned to match their individual anatomy. We can perform with pinpoint accuracy and we're proud to introduce this technology. With 3D surgical planning and dynamic joint balancing, 
getting patients back to the things that they enjoy. Robotic arm assisted surgery for joint replacement at Bone and Joint. Call 800 445 6442. are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then go to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Lowest prices guaranteed. We're matching deposits up to 1000 bucks on select products. We have more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show this week, Thursday through Sunday, Shawano. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Get the ultimate appliance deals at Furniture and Appliance Mart's Ultimate Sale. Save big on doorbusters, special buys, and clearance items from the best brands while they last. And special no-interest financing on appliances store-wide. The Ultimate Sale is on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Well, good news for breakfast lovers. Today is National Pancake Day. And an informal online poll on our Facebook page found Laura's Cafe in uh, Sugar Camp was many people's favorite spot in the Northwoods to enjoy the breakfast treat. Today we have a raspberry pancake special. My daughter started this about two years ago. We have two raspberry pancakes, sausage links, and two eggs for $7. Laura's is a family-run business been in Sugar Camp for the past seven years. Locals rave about the pancakes. People come back time and time again for those blueberry pancakes. There's a couple from Michigan that come in and order three per person just so that they can take them home and freeze them and have them later. They do look good. If you're looking for other tasty takeout options, they also have a fish fry on Fridays and take and bake pizzas. We'll hear more from Laura's coming up on Newswatch 12 at 6. Registration for the YMCA of the Northwoods 2021 Summer Day Camp will open March 1st. It's for children in kindergarten through junior high. Organizers say the programs offer a safe and creative environment to support child development. This year there'll be an emphasis on smaller group sizes, keeping kids socially distanced, wearing masks when they're indoors, and frequent hand washing. So campers learn uh, problem solving, discover strengths, work on team building and more. Campers also have access to the Wise New Low Ropes Challenge course. The camp begins June 7th. You can contact the YMCA of the Northwoods for more information or to register. We're back for a final look at your forecast and some warmer temperatures headed our way after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Update your doors with help from Menards. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out. Choose from our huge in-stock selection or design your door your way using the online door designer on Menards.com. This primed six-panel interior door system in multiple sizes has a real wood grain texture and is ready to be finished. All Mastercraft doors are 11% off. Get 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store has just been extended. Don't miss out on 1,000 President's Day cash on top of other offers on Ford F-150. With deals on America's workhorse, now's a great time to buy. Hurry in or shop online before March 1st. That's right, we've added days to get 1,000 President's Day cash on a 2020 Ford F-150 for $7,250 in total value. Hurry, the Great American Sales Event ends soon. Johnny Greaves is back in Eagle River this weekend for the Arctic Derby Dash UTV races. Check out derbycomplex.com for tickets and information. At WJFW, our News Watch 12 news team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most of all to the Northwoods. Our team is committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. 
What if you could push a button and lower your mortgage payment hundreds of dollars? You can. The button's on your phone. Call Zoom Refi. Slash your mortgage payments. Take cash out. Zoom Refi mortgage rates are super low. Closing costs are super low. And Zoom, we approve you right over the phone. No big mortgage payments. No high closing costs. No income check loans available. So no reason not to call Zoom Refi. 888-272-8630. Mortgage rates have dropped 25%. Maybe you should drop everything and call Zoom Refi. Slash your mortgage payments, take cash out, and save maybe hundreds of dollars every month. Zoom Refi mortgage rates are super low. Closing costs are super low. And Zoom, we approve you right over the phone, even for no income check loans. Big drop in mortgage rates. Big opportunity for you to save money. Call Zoom Refi today, 888-272-8630. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Coyote 93.7. I hear the oohs and ahs out there. Now look at this beautiful sunset in Plover currently. It's going to be a nice night again tonight, followed by a little bit of snow in the forecast for us tomorrow night. Temperatures are hanging out in the 30s for most of us, although there were a couple low 40s across central Wisconsin today, and a couple of you could go for low 40s tomorrow. Also tomorrow, the clouds will be increasing through the afternoon, and there's a system out here right there that could bring us some light snow tomorrow night. The, uh, there will be another system, though, on Sunday uh, with probably some more heavier snow on Sunday. We're still talking, though, less than probably one or two inches across our neck of the woods. All right, looking forward, though. Here we go. Near 40 tomorrow in the 40s Saturday with some light snow back in the forecast on Sunday afternoon. 40s, and that's going to yes. feel very warm this time of year. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on News Watch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next. See you back here at 6 with more.